Welcome back. Now that person is now going to go to their inbox and they're going to confirm their email subscription. And so we're going to be able to then send them a page through the autoresponder. Now we can send them to a delivery page or it's here that we can actually send them to an offer because we have already confirmed that they have become part of our email marketing list. It's safe then for them to be sent to an offer unless you think it's going to anger them not to get what they've been promised right away. So basically you want to decide and create your delivery page. You can actually make that delivery page the first auto response message that they're going to actually get. So although this is a minor detail, it's one that you do want to give some attention and make some decisions about which one is working best. Now you can actually send people to a download page and they're going to actually be able to click the button and get what it is that you have promised to them. Now you can auto play a video there to tell them what else is next and you can even link to some of the other offers that you want to give them. For example, you can actually link to the actual offer that your giveaway is going to be tied to on this page. There's no law that says that they have to read the report first and then click over into what you've promised them or you've promised them to see. You can actually link to this on the thank you page because they've already confirmed they've already become part of your email marketing list and now you've actually delivered on what you promised you're now free to send them to the offer that you brought them in to see you're gonna notice once again that in optimized press this page has no header it has no other identifying markings and once again this is an area where you can actually brand you don't necessarily have to brand as to what your sales page is going to be or what your product is going to be but you can do that and you want to at minimum be consistent with what they've just seen on the squeeze page the social media buttons once again these are going to be things you want to be careful about sending people to outside links and in most cases you can take this out this is again another distraction if you're going to have anything in here linking you want to link them direct to the offer you're going to be talking about or at least some of your other offers again this may or may not also be the place for you to put affiliate links you're trying to drive people deeper and deeper into your funnel sending people off into another marketing funnel is going to distract them and it's going to keep you from actually maximizing your profits if you must send someone to a link consider finding some other related products that you might have or consider sending them to the offer that you've been talking about in the squeeze page. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.